What you got to play? Generic drops for days. Still the Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. That's <sighs> right. How did I lose track of time? How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something.
Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. <laughs> Got it! from a tailpipe. <laughs> huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Great light on that one. Perfect. Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars! He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone! What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. Demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. 
I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. It didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either. And now Oscorp can't deny Harry Station stopped a public utility meltdown. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. I wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. Solid that time. Wish I could thank him. I got some work to do on these spider bots before I can send them back out into the world again. losing my webs over. Hopefully Oscorp will figure out armed drones in Manhattan are not a good idea. But I'm not holding my breath. Now they've got the data they need. And the stealth tech is promising, even if it needs work. I think Harry's station is safe. And if they ever work the bugs out, maybe I'll whip myself up a stealth suit. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we come with? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? 
Me so young and stupid? You just stupid! Do come through my... Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute? Syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? To talk so subjective? If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. Think about who their mysterious overlord is. The person they're working for, that kind of thing. Stop! Coming your way! Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, they'll kill me! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Don't let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. Stand still! If you ask nicely, maybe! You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks... Try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Oh, come on, Herman! If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead! They made that very clear! yourself. Literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon... Uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. Shouldn't have asked. What's up today? And tomorrow. Fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Uh -huh. 
nice composition if I do say so myself. Message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. What do you say now? Good shot. Hey, so I looked into reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of fish properties. You're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Beautiful. That's a keeper. I wonder if King T'Challa got his powers from being bitten by a radioactive panther. Dude's tough, but that'd still probably hurt. Magnifique. And that's why Jonah paid me the big bucks. Gang war between the demons and Fisk is Sorry, really heating I'm up. usually web. I know. Even Shocker's a part of it. Got roped into running jobs for the demons. These guys are serious. Do they just want to replace Fisk? That'd be bad enough. Hope it's not something worse. That shot. Empire State University, the old alma mater, and holder of my student loans. 1034, shots fired, officers down. Response needed north of Houston. Regards from the Kingpin. I better be more careful with my adoring public. And that's why Jonah paid me the big bucks. Cool window, but I always get the feeling something strange is going on in that place. Good shot. Need immediate response. Officers needed on scene in Clinton. Love. Love it. Masked up peace. God, how much I love photography. Perfect. The raft. When a regular maximum security prison just isn't enough. Nice composition if I do say so myself. The Williamsburg Bridge. A convenient route to someplace else I can't afford to live. God, how much I love photography. And that's why Jonah paid me the big bucks. Confucius Plaza. I could use some of his wisdom right about now. Mott Street, the main street of Chinatown. Touristy, but fun. That's a keeper. Nailed it. Yeah, no, no. 
Magnifique. My kid loves you. Good shot. Fighting, um, find the rest of the fist. What? Why don't they see this at work? Hey, turn this way. And that's why Jonah paid me the big bucks. Hey there. Boss. These guys are like cockroaches. You can't get rid of them. 